Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image.com. This is the Zoom H1. We got an unboxing for you today. The Zoom H1 Handy Recorder. Brilliant stereo recording now in your pocket. Version 2.0 works as USB mic. Free bundled software, Cubase LE7 and Wavelab LE8. So pretty cool. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the Zoom audio recorders are one of the fastest ways to boost your audio quality way better than using the built-in camera audio. Uh, plus it gives you remote, so you know you could have one of these, these ear hanging mics or a lav mic plugged into this and stick it in your pocket. Or you can use it just as a, if you're interviewing somebody, there's just so many ways. Um, and the mics built into here and all the zoom units are way better quality. You're getting better audio. I've been using zoom for a long time. I have the H4, I have the H2. Um, but I'm thinking I might replace what I use my H2 for with the H1 because this little puppy is small and light. Let's open it for you. Uh, let's see here. Let's get into the box. Okay, so what do we got? We have, um, oh, it looks like it came with a micro SD card. Or that's an adapter. I'm not sure. It's in there anyways. Um, that looks like in the manual, some paperwork, warranty card. Now here's the impressive thing. Look how small this is. This is a very tiny little recorder. Uh, you know, you could stick it in your pocket. You can get, I should have, you know what, I should have asked for the review unit to um, get the one with the um, accessory package. Because you can get one that comes, I think it's for an extra 25 bucks. It comes with a uh, windscreen. It comes with a... Um, it comes with a uh, power plug and a case, I think. But anyways, look how small this is. And you know what else I like about this? They even included a battery. How about that? Um, which is what I want to get out to show you. Let's see here. There we go. Caught in the packaging. Okay, so one... And they included... What do they include? A Maxal Alkaline. One AA battery is all it takes to run this, which is sweet. See that? So it goes in there, and um, we'll have to get the packaging off there, or off the battery. Um, the controls are all like operated off this one kind of touch button in the front um, with some additional ones along the side. So you've got like playback controls here, you've got um, input level adjustment there, you got a line in, so that's if you want to mic this in. Um, you got a USB out. You've got a hold switch, which is nice because if you want to lock it while you are um, started recording, you can't accidentally shut it off. So that can't ruin your your uh, audio that way. And then we've got a little garbage switch right here. I'll see if I can take a close up for you and post that there. Um, let's see here. Um, what else? Oh, we have some more on the back. So low cut on, auto level on, and record format. You could switch from wave to uh, mp3 which is nice I usually do everything in wave these days and then put it down to mp3 later gives you that better option for the best quality and then you can put it back down um, the protected around the mics is different than say my h4 does not have that Let's see if we can raise up the h4 while we're recording that's the h4 you can see the uh, mic capsules on top have no protection. You can I've I've had people um, who own these friend of mine drop one and, and wrecked one of the capsules. Not that you should drop it, but that might give it some protection if it does. But you could see how you could use this as an interview mic. You know, hello, hello. Um, and it, with the windscreen over top, it almost looks like you know more like an an interview mic. It's got the uh, little LCD on the front here. Um, and what else do we have here? It looks like the uh, how do we get into here? There we go. Flap for the SD card goes right there so that's nice now does it take micro SD because it had the adapter in there yeah it looks like it's a micro SD yep micro SD so that's that's nice too so anyways one AA battery will run this um, let's give you a rundown on the specs for you for those of you that aren't uh, in uh, familiar with this XY mic design captures perfect stereo images with remarkable depth and clarity and I can say from experience that um, 
with the H4 and the H2, it does. So very, very nice recorded mics. If you go back in the videos, most of my earlier videos before I started using a lapel or the Audio Technica AT2020, the big mic, um, were all recorded with that. Um, and mostly I didn't stop recording with these for any reason other than looks or convenience. Like I like I like this here because I can move around, doesn't change the audio. So I, I do like these. Um, but I wouldn't hesitate to sit and just record with the uh, Zoom um, in front of me like I used to have it just sitting on the desk uh, as you'll see in past videos uh, I do that for a lot of on location stuff and in other channels when I'm doing voiceovers or things like that I often just sit there with the zoom I don't use this um, so the very nice uh, records wave to 24 bit 96 khz I think that's kilohertz it stands for but you know that's the uh, the rating for how it's recording for high resolution audio records mp3 to 320 kbps for maximum time which 320 you know most people would argue that's probably equivalent to cd quality uh, uses up to 32 gig micro sdhc cards for maximum recording time usb 2 port for faster file transfer and uh, broadcast wave format bwf compatible timestamp and track marker onboard reference speaker external mic and line inputs low cut filter and audio auto level setting features built in mounting joint for tripod built-in mounting joint well it does have a tripod um, screw there I think in the accessory kit it comes with uh, a tripod mount adapter so you can just slide it into your hot shoe um, 10 hours of continuous battery life with one AA battery now that is awesome my zoom h2 eats batteries like crazy so I'm really excited about that um, so yeah if you guys have any other questions about the zoom h1 let me know we'll see if we can get them answered for you leave a comment below and we'll see if we can get them answered for you we'll give you some audio tests um, both with just the zoom talking into it um, with plugging in something like the uh, ear hanging mic with a lav mic etc and uh, we'll let you know how we like the zoom h1 um, build quality is decent it doesn't reek of extreme quality build uh, it's very light and and it does feel kind of plasticky but on the same token it feels well well built the button on the front has a decent response and the buttons seem pretty decent for the switches and whatnot you get these for a hundred bucks so um, you know you get excellent sound for a hundred dollars and portable it's a good deal really um, but we'll get into the review of it and let you know what we think about it I'm expecting great things because from what I've read you get basically the sound quality of my h4 my h2 out of this h1 so it should be great with great battery life on one AA battery. Anyways, any questions, leave them below. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with more on this Zoom H1. Thanks, folks.